This is from World of Real that came out in January 15th, 2024. So I've known about these rumors in particular for a while now. <laughs> and I remember people were like sharing this article around and saying, oh, no, 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 it's not delayed. It's rumors. Don't you can't put much stock into that calling him out basically for this these were sources that he was hearing and i've shared a few articles from world of real and i've seen some pretty good reporting and some insider information that did prove accurate and here's another one that we could add to world of real here so this was in january so uh the writer of this article says i'm usually not really keen on looking for star wars intel but a well-informed source is giving me additional details on the current status of this film the ray film and it's not good news i've been told that disney has delayed the film indefinitely which is why they surprised everyone last week and decided to announce The Mandalorian and Grogu as the next Star Wars movie. They just don't have confidence that New Jedi Order, the Rey movie, will be happening in the near future. The problem seemed to reside in creative differences between screenwriter Stephen Knight and Lucasfilm. I'm told that a draft had originally been written for the film, but Lucasfilm gave him so many notes that he had to start from scratch. To make matters worse, there is the possibility that Knight might not be staying on board the project. His frustrations have grown, so he's put Star Wars on the back burner and is now focused on the screenplay for his Peaky Blinders movie, which is supposed to go into production in the fall, which it did. <laughs> So this actually turned out to be accurate that he's like, okay, I'm just going to pivot to a, a project that is moving along smoothly. And they were able, he was able to work on that on the Peaky Blinder script and they were able to move on with production because he already did his work for Lucasfilm and writing the script for them. He did it and he was going to move on to another project. But apparently the rumors go that he was given so many notes that he would just have been writing a whole new script. And the article continues, these issues with Knight come only two years after development on the film started and various drafts had circulated with different writers, including Damon Lindelof from Watchmen and Justin Britt Gibson, both eventually exiting this untitled Ray Skywalker. Well, I hate saying that untitled Ray movie. Knight came aboard soon after. It was widely reported and believed that this Ray movie would be the first one to get released. <laughs> and a May 22nd, 2026 release date had been announced last year for this. And I guess then they moved it to December, apparently. This past November, Ridley had insinuated that the next Star Wars film to be released theatrically was going to be hers. Things have clearly changed. Yeah, and clearly she's out of the loop there. Unfortunately, they're just stringing her along and at least she's busy with other projects. Uh, Daisy Ridley is. She's doing other small films. She's doing promotion now for her new film, Magpie. Before that, recently she did Woman in the Sea. She's been keeping busy, but she's doing like these smaller films, small indie films. Good for her because you can't be waiting on Disney Lucasfilm. It's amazing that Lucasfilm doesn't get this, that Kathleen Kennedy doesn't understand that people have other jobs, that they have a career, that they can't just wait around and like have them on retainer or whatever, just to do your bidding. You pursued this person, you pursued Stephen Knight after Lucasfilm had unceremoniously fired Damon Lindelof because they didn't like what he was doing. This is clearly so corporate. Creativity by committee. And I honestly don't know who would want to come on board this project at this point. I mean, they are building such a poor reputation for filmmakers and writers to want to work with them because clearly they have their vision and they have a story that they want to do. And I'm sure what he, I mean, he's a proven to be a great writer. Damon Lindelof and Stephen Knight, these are talented individuals. Clearly there's this environment where they are not able to have their vision, to have their creativity fostered. Which is insane to me now how much this has changed or how much only certain productions seem to be marred by this. Because how did the Acolyte get made? It is not a good story. It was so poorly written and conceived and every department was subpar. But how did that get out the door? And even then, that one I think took four years after its initial announcement to be made for eight 30 minute episodes, it's kind of crazy. This is the reputation that they're building to just be creativity by committee. This is the death of creativity for IPs like this. You even have like talented writers that want to do this, that want to create good stories in this universe and they're not letting them do it. They're not letting them cook. And I don't know what the deal is. This particular production, you had Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy as the director who has no experience in working on projects like these. She's a short film documentarian. That's her specialty. That's what she's known for. And that's what she's won awards for. 
I don't get the thought process there. Why would you pick her to be completely out of her field and expertise? Just short films, documentaries at that. She has no experience in sci-fi, big budget movies. And I'm sure there was definitely some notes from her, from Chinoy, as well as Kathleen Kennedy. I don't know what they're looking for specifically. <laughs> you write it then. How about that, Kathleen Kennedy? How about you write it? You like to sit on your high horse and dictate creativity. And this is the result of you micromanaging creators. I don't honestly know if there's going to be someone who wants to come on board this environment to work with this because clearly they can't just do their thing. And I would much prefer someone with experience, someone who's had a great resume and writing good stories to have their shot at it, as opposed to someone who has no experience and so what was the acolyte? She just did a Russian doll. I mean, there was no experience in a show like this and a budget like this. That doesn't make sense. But how does that get made? It's clearly just creativity by committee. And this is what's killing Star Wars. And you feel like it's the same thing that's going on with Marvel, who just pretty much canceled the Blade movie that was going around in, in development chaos for so long. And it just feels like that's the environment now. Everything is chaos. It's no smooth operation anymore. It's really sad. And I think they just didn't understand the assignment too. I think all they had to do is just put Ray and Finn and go through lots of interesting set pieces and that's it. I wish I knew what the problem was. What were their notes? I wish I knew what Damon Lindelof's story was. The rumors were that it was a more mature take on Ray, that this was going to be Ray years and years past Rise of Skywalker. It's probably going to have to be aged up with some makeup and gray hair. Was that the reason they didn't want to move forward with it? They didn't like that idea of a mature female character? <laughs> but anyway, they didn't like it. I think they just got rid of him. I don't think he left. I think they kicked him off the project. And this time around, he gave you a whole script and you're just throwing it out. It took time, I'm sure, to write and he's got other jobs. You want to have these well-known and established creators and writers and filmmakers involved in Star Wars, but you don't realize what it takes to work with such individuals. I honestly don't know what the environment is going on when it comes to Dave Filoni also, because he's not there to talk about lore, to ensure canon. He said his job was just to facilitate a creator's vision. So then what's happening then? Why can't these creators get their vision on screen? What is the problem? Because you clearly had no problem with the Acolyte and with Ahsoka, because that was under your direct creative oversight. And again, it's not like I was ever excited about a Ray movie. I don't think anyone was, but this just speaks to that they still have no idea. They have no idea what to do with Star Wars, especially on film. And I don't know if this will ever be fixed unless the culture and environment within Lucasfilm is fixed. You have to get people in there of the older regime under George Lucas that knew how to run this multimedia. Like you think it's simple to oversee all of these various mediums and ensure that everything is within that same spirit of Star Wars, within the same mythology that George Lucas started. I mean, it really just evolved into this ever expanding web of stories and creators across different mediums. It was really something special and probably likely will never be repeated. I don't think there will ever be another Star Wars because I just don't think the culture, I guess, in Hollywood doesn't exist for that to happen again because you really need to have nerds in charge. And I don't think they want to do that.